I feel as though the boss lady needs no introduction. If you weren't familiar before, if you didn't know now, you do definitely know she runs the whole game. Lena, you've done the damn thing. Thank you. <laughs> that whole set has given everybody so much vibe inside this whole studio. I wish, guys, I wish you were here. We've been jamming in studio with Nina. We've done everything. But you know what? I think it would be very inspiring to just hear out your story. Yeah. All right? So for those who don't know who Nina, the boss lady, is, mm -hmm. how did you actually come to the point in your life where you were like, you know what? I want to explore music. I want to explore DJing, I just want to give people this experience. I want to share this because you are. Bro, <laughs> her mixes are A1, as you can see. Yeah. So, how did you get to that? Yeah. To be honest, um, I was used to live in the UK. Yeah. And then I moved back to Norway and I didn't feel the nightlife there. Yeah. So, I was like, these guys need to get to the real deal. Yeah. They need to get the experience. Mm -hmm. So, that's how it came about. And I was like, okay, if the music is not as it should be, mm -hmm. we just provide the music. Of course. So yeah, that's how I started DJing out. It was a hobby initially. Yeah. And I spent some time in Dar es Salaam as well, and that's kind of where it wow, kicked off. Wow, yeah. Yeah, so from there, it's just been going up. <laughs> but had you wanted to be a DJ from the jump, or were you working yeah, somewhere else so before, and yeah. you got to a point where you're like, you know what, corporate or whatever <laughs> industry I'm in isn't for me, I'm going to go have fun. Yes, yeah. um, I do have another job. Mm -hmm. I'm a lawyer. Hello. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. So that's my day job. Yeah. And then DJing is uh, is my second job mm -hmm. and my fun yeah, funner, it's your more fun job. Well. <laughs> yeah. When they say women do it all, look at how she's able to balance both, both corporate and her hobby into something that she can still make money from. I think that's very inspiring because you know um in the generations right now, millennials aren't all part of, you know, wanting to be part of a corporate world. Mm. They always want to go into the creative industry yeah. but you've created a balance for yourself yeah. so how are you able to manage that because yes daytime you are a lawyer yeah. nighttime you become the boss lady <laughs> but then also just balancing you know your own personal life now corporates and now your gigs and yeah. events how are you able to balance it's, that honestly it's not easy yeah um, but we all have like the same amount of time in the day mm -hmm. so it's all about being structured being focused mm -hmm and just do it because you love it you know don't yeah. do it because it's a chore or it's like you're not feeling it then find something else to mm -hmm. do and give it your 100 definitely i think ooh, guys are you hearing the gem she's already dropping without even thinking about it you do definitely need to give it your 100 but you said your journey started off in tanzania mm. so your love for bongo music now it's also transferred into genge tone but you've been able to work with even amazing artists like akina conscience so is that where your love for you know the african sound and dance for dance hall came from as well no it actually started much earlier mm -hmm. um i've like i have a very international background yeah. and i have friends from like all over the world and i've always been interested in music. Next week. Mm -hmm. so when i was like living with with people from other countries and i was hearing their songs mm -hmm. and their tunes and all that so that's where it started it started like way back like high school yeah even before that you yeah know? so that's how it all came about and then for the music it's just like this is the music I'm feeling, you know? yes. like this is what's touching me. So that's like what I'm going to be playing. Yeah. That's what I'm going to be pushing out there. Do you, okay, now since you've played both internationally and back here and now home in Kenya, yes, home for you, home. <laughs> yeah. You have decided she's Kenyan, guys. By I'm now default. adopted. <laughs> yes, we have adopted. Nina. Where's my citizenship? <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I'll, I'll give you a Kenyan name and that will solidify it. But what crowd would you say is better to play for? Oh, the internationally, Kenya. yeah, no, or back yeah. here in Kenya, yeah, yeah. definitely yeah. in Kenya. Yeah. So, what place have you been to and like you just rocked a party and you're like, you know what, it's fine, I can go home, I'm done after this. This is my full on like best experience ever. But there's so many, like, yeah, yeah. I've been playing at the tunnel, that was yeah. amazing. Yeah. I was at the Alchemist, that was really cool as well. Eldoret at the TMT lounge, yeah. it was amazing. I was in Moonshine this weekend, um, Mombasa, yeah. Moonshine Beach Bar. So it's like every, every experience is mm -hmm. different, uh, but every time it's like it's giving me so much energy True. and hype and it's amazing. The crowd is so good and people are loving the music, people are dancing, yeah. you know. Back home it's like more of that vibe of you sitting down, you have your drink. Yeah, you're being Here people back. are like up immediately, yeah, <laughs> so true. I like that. Would you say you've faced any sort of challenges now being in the industry, mm -hmm. especially because you're a woman? 
because yeah. most people you know they have the tagline of or oh, this is a female DJ you're not mm -hmm. just a DJ or this is a female whatever this is a female lawyer you know you can't just be that so what kind of challenges have you faced just for you know either being in the industry or trying to you know get your foot in yeah. into different places yeah I think uh, I've, exp I've experienced uh, people judging me initially yeah. Um, in so many ways, but also like being a woman, like how you're a woman and you're a DJ, yeah. like, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. But there are so many amazing like female DJs, yeah. also Kenyan, like there's, it's becoming like the new norm, you know? Yes. So it's becoming better and better, like over the years, like now, it's not as bad, I would say, as it used to be. Yes, definitely. And once you have your foot in, or they've like heard your mix, or they know what you can do, then doors just open. You open automatically. But initially, it's that skepticism, like, are you sure she can play? Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. You know, I feel like most people, because now in Kenya, let's be honest. So the predominantly most people here are black. So when they see you and they're like, oh, wait, she can play. Mm. You know, so most people are like, why? How, how would you assume that this lady can play? Guys, we gave you a taste at the beginning of the show. She does not play. She is called the boss lady for a reason. And what's very inspiring is that you have an organization with DJ Eric. It's called MFA. Yes. Now, I'd really love for you to put us on. What is MFA? Of course. It stands for Music for All. Mm -hmm. And it's our platform back home. We are creating um, mm -hmm. nights, club nights, mm -hmm. uh, events, shows, concerts, everything like that. And we're pushing African music a lot. Yeah. We play for all kinds of different crowds, play for weddings, play for everything. Mm -hmm. And now we have a new project that's coming up where mm -hmm. we are trying to um, uh, make a program back home in Norway yeah. and we invite Kenyans to come and, and join that. and have the experience of going places, uh, doing some sightseeing and ending it all with a big massive party. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be really cool because it's like a cultural exchange, exchange the other way. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So we're working on so many different things. So, yeah, I, th yeah. I like that. I like that. You see, guys, you have to think out of the box. Now, she is a lawyer. She is a DJ. Mm -hmm. And she also has her own company with DJ Eric. Now, for them to actually come to the point of deciding that, you know what, guys, you've seen the diaspora experience in different people's eyes, in movies, in all of that kind of stuff. You don't know what actually happens on ground. But they have taken the initiative to take you there and experience it. Mm -hmm. So you can have, yo, when you come back to Kenya, you're like, guys, I was with the boss lady and trust me, I don't want to come back home. Mm -hmm. I think that's very, very cool. And I think that I really love for you to inspire, like someone like me, I would love to become a DJ. Yeah. But you see, I don't know what it takes. I, for me, it would be one of those things where, you know, I know my music selection is dope. I know how to think about songs that can transition into mm -hmm. like a proper mix, but, you know, a DJ is just more than thinking of, oh, okay, um, calm down, you can play what? Stainless, liquor next. Oh, okay, after that I can play Noah Hala. You know, it's more than that. So how would you encourage somebody like me or just, you know, give me that kind of discipline? Because most people <laughs> just think, yeah, it's very easy. Yeah. So how would you encourage me, but also ensure that I stay grounded yeah. if I wanted to go into your direction in the industry? Well, you already come a, a long way because yeah. you know the music yeah. and you know your playlists and that's the number one thing, yeah. you know. And then, of course, it, it takes work, it takes time, yeah. it takes practice Yes. and it, you need to stick to it, like be dedicated. Mm -hmm. But you can do it. You can definitely yeah. do it. We need more female DJs. Maybe by the end of the year, Nina would have convinced me to become a DJ myself. I hope so. I hope <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much for coming through. Now, we're talking about something on the show, mm. all right? So when you're turned off by somebody, mm. like you just don't like the advances they're coming with towards you and everything, how do you, you know, let them down easy and be like, you know what, I'm not feeling your vibe, I, I don't Ooh, want this. That's difficult, especially <laughs> for me. I'm very direct. Yeah? Yeah. So, so that's too. good. <laughs> yeah. So I just usually say things the way it, it is. Yeah. You know, you like, ah. and I don't, I don't like that whole like sugar coating. Nah. Yeah. I don't do that. So you just like, no, I'm not feeling you. Sorry, bye. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, Canero, Nairobi, you're not ready for the storm that is DJ Nina. But you know what? Let's take a small break and vibe out. Let's see what the boss lady has in store for us. All right, let's go. <laughs>